Hello, good day guys. So, sa ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon, o i-discuss natin is about sa Newton's Law of Calling. So, according sa Newton's Law of Calling, uh, that is that uh, when the temperature of a body changes at a rate proportional to the difference in temperature between its own temperature and the temperature of its surroundings. So, ibig sabihin daw niyan, uh, yung... The differential of time, uh, I mean the differential of temperature with respect to time, is proportional daw sa di difference ng temperature ng uh, sa body niya or its own temperature. Tapos sa temperature ng sur surrounding. So sabi natin the temperature of the body minus the temperature of the surrounding. Or yung iba... Uh, minsan ting sub zero yung ginagamit sa mga uh, sa temperature ng surrounding so for this tutorial so gamitin natin t, t sub s yung temperature ng surrounding okay so para matanggal yung proportionality uh, sign na yan so kailangan natin mag apply ng proportionality constant so let's say k so kaya pwede natin yan sabihin So, dt over uh, the differential temperature of, I mean the differential temperature with respect to time, is equal siya na sa k times t minus t sub s, or the temperature of the body minus the temperature of the surrounding. Okay, pag-usapan natin yung, yung k. So, paano natin masasabi, or kailan natin masasabi, yung k as negative or positive. So, ito lang yung tanda ninyo. Kapag yung initial condition or the change, the change of the temperature is decreasing, so, gagamit tayo ng negative k. So, that is decreasing. Pero, kung change ng temperature natin, yung sinasabi kong change ng temperature, yung temperature ng body, hindi yung surrounding in uh, temperature reading ng body itself. Okay. So gagamit tayo ng positive k if the temperature of the body is increasing. So yun, yun lang tandaan niyo. Okay, let's continue. Okay. So for this given formula, so ginamit niya as per the matalino.com So, ginamit niya yung negative k. So, yung sample dito, probably yung, ano, yung decreasing. So, check natin. Check natin mamaya. Okay. Where t is the temperature of the body, ito yon at any time t, then yung t sub s natin is the temperature of the surrounding. Or, mas kilala sa sinasabing ambient temperature. So, yung t sub zero naman is the initial temperature of the body. So, ako sa school uh, ginagamit ko yung T sub 0 as the temperature of the surrounding tapos yung temper initial temperature is T sub 1 tapos yung pangalawang temperature is T sub 2 so pero kay nang bala so but for this tutorial itong gagamitin natin uh, yung T is the temperature of the body at any time tapos yung T S is the surrounding temperature yung T sub 0 is the initial, then yung K is the constant proportionality. Okay, let's continue. So, from this, or from this given equation, from this given equation, so, pwede natin gamitin sa differential equation para masolve natin yung T in terms of time, then makukuha natin yung general equation. Tapos, when we substitute the value of temperature and with respect to time, makukuha natin yung particular uh, solution. Okay, let's continue. So, from this given equation, so by separation of variables, yung T minus T sub S, ilagay natin sa baba ng T sub uh, differential of the temperature. So, ito na yun. Tapos, yung DT, multiply natin doon sa kabila, sa may negative k. So, magiging dt over t minus t sub s minus uh, equals to negative k, k times dt. Then, 
pwede na tayo mag-apply ng integration. So, kung mag-integrate tayo, ito, ito, constant kasi yan, yung T sub S. So, yung variable lang natin is the T, which is the temperature of the body. So, kung integral natin yan, integrate, so, nagiging natural logarithm of T minus T sub S. Is equals, yung K natin is constant. So, the derivative or the integration of DT is T. So, magiging negative KT plus ln C. O actually, uh, pwede kayo gumamit ng C lang. So, ito ginamit dito as ln C kasi para madali ma makancel out. Pero mamaya, ipapakita natin uh, kahit hindi tayo gumamit ng natural logarithm. Okay. Let's continue. So, after that, so, to So, bali, so, para maging Okay, so, ito Check natin ah, nag, Nag-apply siya ng natural logarithm dito Pero, uh, ito, ito, ipakita lang natin to Yung method na, yung method ko So, ln of t minus t sub s Is equals to negative kt, instead na ln of c, gagawin ko na lang as c lang. Okay. So, para matanggal yung natural logarithm dito, kailangan ko lang mag-apply ng constant a, base, base a, sa lahat ng terms. So, ito, cancel out na yan, so magiging t minus t sub s is equals a raised to the quantity negative kt plus C. Di ba kapag exponent plus, so pwede natin sabihin yan, e raised to negative kt times same base na a raised to a. Yun. So ito, pwede kayong sabihin na c1. So therefore, pwede natin sabihin t minus ts is equals Okay, wait lang. Iyon na natin yung c1 times a raised to negative kt. Then, T is equals to C1 e raised to negative KT plus TS. So, ito na yun. So, makikita ninyo. Ito yan. Okay. So, ito. Uh, medyo nawala ako rito sa solution niya. Okay. So, let's continue. So, ito yung initial condition natin. At time is equals to 0. Zero. Sabihin natin, at time is equals to zero, yung temperature natin is the initial temperature or the T sub O. Okay, then substitute natin doon. Ito, so, magiging T minus T sub O is equals to C times E raised to negative K times time natin is zero. So, pag ano natin yan, E raised to zero is equals to one. So, therefore, yung C natin is equals to T minus T sub 0. Okay. Then, ito yung so substitute natin sa value ng C. Therefore, yung magiging uh, general equation natin is T minus, ang C natin is T minus T sub O times E raised to negative K So, ito yung, ma ah, yung plus pa. Plus yung the temperature of the surrounding. Ito kasi nilagay natin dun sa kabila. So, ito na yun. Okay. So, sabi dito, uh, the formula above need not be memorized. So, of course, so kailangan, uh, kahit hindi ninyo memorize, as long as na maalam ninyo yung process. Uh, actually, by separation of variables lang yan. Eh. Then, by integration. Mukha natin. Then, of course, yung uh, Newton's law of cooling na yung differential of temperature with respect to time is proportional to the difference of the temperature of the body sa temperature ng surrounding. Okay. So, let's have an, an example. A, thermo a thermometer which has been at the reading of 70 degrees Fahrenheit 
inside the house is placed um, outside where the air temperature is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So, 3 minutes later, it is found that the thermometer reading is 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Find the thermometer reading after 6 minutes. So, yun lang din ang gagamitin nating formula. So, from this given equation, okay, so, nag-assume na siya ng negative. So, kasi, kung makikita natin to, yung initial, okay, yung initial, ano natin, na initial temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So, at time t is equals to 0 yan. Tapos, yung temperature ng surrounding natin daw is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Tapos, yung temperature after 3 minutes is naging, sabi natin T sub 1, naging 25 degrees. So, ang T sub 1, uh, ayon time natin after uh, after 3 minutes, yan, after 3 minutes, naging 25 degrees Fahrenheit na lang yung Temperature, kung mga chichik natin dito, yung T sub 0 tas T sub 1, nag-decrease. Decreasing. So, therefore, negative K yung gagamitin natin. Okay, let's continue. So, from this given equation, yung T is natin substitute which is 10 degrees. Tapos, by separation of variables, ito na yung magiging result. Then, apply tayo ng integration. Yun na yun. So, ito yung magiging result natin. Yung T is equal to 10 plus the constant C times A raised to negative KT. So, that, that is the general solution. Uh, general solution yan. Okay. So, magkukuha natin yung particular solution when we substitute the value or when we get the value of C then K. Okay. So, from the initial condition na uh, time is equal to 0, tapos, yung temperature natin is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Tapos, yung makukuha daw natin is 60, yung constant natin si, constant si. So, paano yan ang uh, nakuha? So, di ba, from our general equation is T is equal to 10 plus C is to negative KT. So, from this given equation, uh, initial condition, substitute natin, 70 is equals to 10, plus C is equals to, this to negative K times, yung time natin is 0. A is to 0, that is 1. So, magiging result natin is 70 is equals to 10, plus C, or C is equals to 60. So, kaya, ito yung nakuha natin. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so from the second condition, a time t is equals to 3 minutes, yung temperature natin is naging 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Simply, substitute lang natin sa general solution. So, magiging 25 is equals to 10 plus 60 times A is to negative 3K. Then, pag-solve natin yan, makukuha natin si A is to K. Is equals to uh, 1 fourth raised to 1 third. Yung one, uh, one third na yan is nanggaling yan rito. Yung 3K. Yung 3, nilagay dun sa kabila. So, magiging reciprocal, magiging one third. Tapos, i-check natin to. Yung A to negative K from this given equation is one fourth raised to one third. So, isosubstitute lang natin dun. So, magiging T is equals to 10 plus 60. Yung A to negative K natin is 1 for 3 to 1 third. So, ito na yun. 1 for 3 to 1 third times T. So, magiging ito na. So, T is equals to 10 plus 60 times 1 for 3 to T over 3. Or, pwede rin ninyo, no? Kunin, kunin ninyo yung K by ship solve or by method of or by applying the natural logarithm by in terms of decimal play, uh, decimal number. Or, para eksakto, Ito yung gamitin ninyo. Yung kukunin ninyo yung A to negative K. Okay. So, let's continue. Pag makuha na ninyo to, yung, uh, yung tanong natin is, after 6 minutes, uh, ano na ba? Ano na daw yung temperature ng 
inside the house. So, ito lang. Substitute, substitute lang ninyo yung time. So, from this given equation, after 6 minutes, substitute ninyo yung time doon. So, magiging 10 plus 60 times 1 half, uh, 1 fourth, 3 is 2. T over 3. So, T natin is 6. 6 divide 3 is 2. Then, solve ninyo. Yung makukuha ninyo is 13.75 degrees Fahrenheit. Or, approximately 14 degrees Fahrenheit. So, ito na yung sagot natin. So, yun lang guys. So, kung may mga tanong kayo, don't hesitate to comment below. And of course, uh, kung gusto niyo mag-join sa Facebook group natin sa RHC Academy, so check, mag-join na lang kayo, check na lang niyo. And of course, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to my YouTube channel. And yun lang guys, thank you and God bless.